Uh, the first demonstration I show you with, with the Pathfinder, I think will illustrate one of the problems with the mechanics that are being taught to most kids today. Uh, they're told, basically, that if they just take those hands and extend them in a straight line out, that out on the end there will be a whip effect that makes the bat come around. Well, uh, I'd like to demonstrate that that's just really not the case. If you take those hands and, just, and go out in a straight line, that might be a little fast, but now notice what I'm talking about. When the hands get out here to the end, there is no whip effect, or in other words, there's no pendulum effect happening. That pendulum effect that we showed you earlier comes from a circular hand path, and it does not occur if you extend the hand straight. And as you know, many of you coaches out there have even had the kids that take a towel or something like that, and you reach out and you pop it, and that's supposed to signify what happens to the bat out on the end. And the kids then, they start forming these mechanics of keeping these hands in tight and extending out straight, expecting that whip effect, and it just doesn't occur. And so one more time, let's look at that, because you really need to burn this in. If your players take their hands in a straight path, there is no pendulum effect that causes that bat head to come around. We're going to have to work on mechanics that create a circular hand path, and that then, as you can see, yes, that does develop the, the pendulum effect. Well, we've just demonstrated that the old A to B hand path, or driving the knob at the ball, does not really cause any pendulum effect. Well, if there is no pendulum effect in the swing, then what uh, does cause their bat to come around? In other words, if you extend those hands out straight, what force is working on the bat to make it come around? Well, what it is is when that bat head trails like this, slides linear, and you get out here, the only thing the batter has left is to extend this top hand past the bottom hand. Now, that's that torque we talked about earlier when we were describing torque. So now we're down to the point that they didn't get anything out of the hand path. They're down to where they have to use the muscles in their arm and everything now to drive the bat head forward. And I want to point out, uh, especially to you young kids and girls that don't have this massive upper body strength, one of the main reasons you're having to use a minus 11 bat or 12 bat or something like that to swing is because you're using mechanics that rely on the muscles of the arm. Now what we're going to show you is going to be mechanics that actually uses the rotation of the body, the major muscles in the legs and the torso all up through here to swing that bat head around. 